All right. Diablo three. Huh. All right. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, shit. Got a message of a friend I just remembered. All right. We're doing guys. Good morning. Guys, I'm thinking very strongly about ordering a coffee. Should I do it? What are we practicing for? Diablo 3, the new season starts tomorrow. I haven't played this game in a long time. Tastes like chicky, unbelievable. Um, okay. Do we know what the Hadrigs is for? Do we know what the Hadrigs is for next week or uh, next season? I haven't decided what I'm going to play. I was going to look at the Hadrigs and see what it is. DH gets UE. Okay. That only excites me if we can play the Goblin Blaster, which we can't, so I don't know how exciting that is. What else do we get? DH is the best start anyway. UE is really our best option. Oh yeah, Maxwell will update everything, of course. Of course. You already knew the answer to that, my friend. You knew that one. Uh, of course. We guys, Max Roll Max Roll was built on Diablo 3. We built the whole damn site on Diablo 3. Jeff is here. Is Wizard really Talrasha? Is it really? All right. Um, barbs get Wrath of the Waste. Hmm. 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 Could start wizard for fun. Should I go wizard? Hmm. 
What is this Diablo 3? Hey, Crush Equity. There's a brand new season tomorrow, guys. Brand new season tomorrow. So there's a new leveling guide that I have a video on. It's something about making a necromancer or whatever. Let's see if this is accurate. Yeah, this is the right strategy. I think I gave I think I gave Woody these steps. I just got to remember them. There's a huge trick, guys. If you didn't remember, there's a huge trick to being 70 instantly if you can do it correctly. I also make the 19 sword so you can also kill the boss easier. Patriot. Maniacal. D3 is back. Back where you first impacted my gaming life. Thanks for everything, man. You're welcome, my dude. Good to have you, man. Zero, thank you for the sub. How's the hand? God, yesterday, I was trying to just ignore it, but yesterday in the, uh, yesterday in the podcast, yeah, my hand was... Oh my god, it was so bad. It was terrible. The trick is to wait two hours and get boosted. Nah, leveling is so easy in the game now if you understand what to do. I don't think you're supposed to do this. This doesn't work though, does it? I thought that this doesn't work the way that they wrote this. Because I'm trying to remember. Does this work? Um this Um, this.
Um, I thought there was a reason that you had to do it on T1 and do the bounties for the turn in for the cash. Or did they change the altar of rights? I thought you had to do the bounties on T1. Yep, for the Death's Breast, right, but why, though? Why, why do we need the DB, though? Because the normal crafting that you do wipes them out, or what? Why do we need the DB? Oh, oh, right, 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 yes, 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 oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. If you're not opening the cash, then you have to do it like that. Yeah. Okay. It's over here. I got you. Yeah. I was going to say, this doesn't work, but it works if you, it works if you open your cash. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, I remember. I was going to say, you have to play on Torment 1 and do the bounties. Zero, thanks to T1 man. Cajun, 45 month resub, four years of being a part of your community. Glad to have found you and glad I can count you as a friend. Let's keep blasting. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate you, buddy. Hi, Proto. Cross Equity, 20 month resub. Thank you, Rax. You believed in me three years ago when I first talked about my weight loss journey. It took me three years. I've been working out four times, five. Jesus Christ. I've been working out four or five times a week. I made a YouTube video about it. I'm down 80 pounds. I built six pounds of muscle. I feel a lot better than I ever have. It started here. Your everyday consistency inspired me. It just took a long time. Hey, buddy. Three years for 80 pounds sounds pretty godly to me. People would kill for those kind of results. Hell yeah, my dude. I've been... Uh, I've started a similar journey about two weeks ago. Finally, spring is here and the weather's nice. I've been going outside every day with Sarah and Callie. I've been eating way better. And I've been exercising. No, I, I can't hear it. I hear the music. Kisato, thank you so much for the prime. Okay, so if you open the cache, why do you have to pick Necromancer? Necromancer certainly gets to 18 the fastest. Is that just the reason? They just get to 18 the fastest? I look different without my beard. It's coming back, though. It's coming in slowly. Yeah, I also shaved my head. I should have taken a picture and posted it on Instagram of all the hair I cut off. It was like a basketball of hair I cut off.
So all you have to do is get a necro to 18 and you win, right? You just get a necro to 18 and it's over. It doesn't matter what class you're playing. You just get a necro to 18. You know, this is the first time I've had my hair this short in a long time, but I do have a widow's peak. I'm not bald, but I do have a widow's peak right here. So some of my hair right here in the front is going back, but not bald. 18 is when the gems drop. So all you have to do is get a necro to 18, and then anything that you want to level will be a joke. So it's just speed to get to 18, and, that, and that's it. All right, so this should, be, this should be an absolute joke, then. Okay, so let's try this. It's called Wisdom Racks. Bald in denial. You know, there's one thing. There's one thing that I've learned about people on the internet over the years. People who know nothing about you will tell you everything about you. Confidently, too, which is the funniest part. <laughs> LJ, thank you so much for the prime, my dude. Oh, no, it's not what I wanted. You think my haircut looks great? Thank you. Yeah, I was hoping somebody would notice. You thought I would never play Diablo 3 again? If I didn't play Diablo 3 tomorrow... Whatever game I played tomorrow, it would just be an endless sea of people asking me, Rax, why aren't you on D3? Rax, D3, Rax, D3. In order to avoid that, let's just play D3. I just don't know these people. I know Chronix, obviously, from Maxwell. Here's 10 facts about Rax that not even Rax knows. Damn, look how zoomed out the camera is in this game. Look how small my character is. Why can't we get this in video games? You enjoyed the podcast last night. I took a glance through some of the comments this morning. It was so funny. <laughs> You'll see a comment. You'll read one comment. And it'll say, I love Crip. You'll hear, read the next comment. Crip is, or Crip is such an old, cranky piece of shit. Next comment. I love Macro's ideas. Me too. Me too. Next comment. I hate Macro. Don't ever have him on the podcast again. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Jesus. It's unbelievable, man. I'm stalling for one second because my coffee is about to arrive. Then we're going to practice this. I think we can practice this like four times. This is so easy. Do you guys 
Do you guys completely understand how to level up in this game? Like, are you... Do you guys get how to do it or no? No matter what you're leveling up, you play Necro. You want to make a Demon Hunter? Make a Necro. You want to make a Witch Doctor? Make her a Necro. What's my coffee order? Very, uh... I would say very... Something very normal. Just give me a coffee with a little bit of cream and sugar, and that's it. I can't drink it black. It's way too bitter, but... You know, how I think how most people drink it. Just a little cream, a little sugar, and that's... doesn't need to be a dessert. You don't need to pour the whole sugar thing in there. You don't need to dump the whole thing of cream in there. What's a 1 to 18 necro time? I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm going to play on hardcore too, by the way. 11 packs of sugar. 11? I like hazelnut. Hazelnut's good. I do like hazelnut. <clears throat> it's just going to arrive any second here, and then we will start. Let me read the guide one more time. We're in Master, not Torment. You have to go Torment if you save the cash. I will absolutely not save the cash. I will not save the cash because I'm playing one day in Hardcore SSF on NA and EU. And then I'm going to um, switch to Softcore. And I'm going to play in groups and I'm going to Z-Barb for you guys. Because people have been asking me to play that. People haven't seen me Z-Barb in like a year. And for some people, that's the most fun thing that they like to watch because that's the hardest build to play. Be right back one second.
Holy shit, this coffee is hot. All right. Let's see how good of a time we can get. Let's try this like three times. This is so easy. Okay, so I'm going to explain it one time so you guys know what's going on. Okay, so if you open the cache, if you open the challenger of cache, you have all the materials that you need to dominate, right? Now, in the altar over here, <clears throat> In the altar over here, I don't know if it's in the game right now. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be in the game tomorrow, right? The altar. Oh, under one hour. Oh, I will do it way faster than in one hour. Way faster. Way faster than that. I'm only gonna do the beginning part because I don't have the right I don't think I have the right gear to do the whole thing, do I? I mean maybe. Let me see. It's possible, but I doubt it. Looking for yellows here. No, I don't have it. Do I miss D3 a bunch? Uh, not a bunch, but this is going to be, it's going to be fun. Okay. Guys, are, are they're giving us, okay, yeah, they're giving us the altar tomorrow. Okay, so guys, listen. There's going to be an altar right here tomorrow forever in the game. When the new season starts, the second node removes, the, correct me if I'm wrong, it removes the level requirement from any item, right? It removes the level requirement for any item. Okay. In order to do, in order to unlock that second node, you need two diamonds. The way to get two diamonds is to get to level 18 on any character, and then you do bounties. You do a boss bounty. So you either kill Zoltan Cool or Magda in Act 2, or you kill Asmodan in Act 3. Those are the ones that take the least amount of walking. You could also do Skelly King in Act 1. Okay? So follow me here. Necro gets to 18 by far the fastest because of Corpse Explosion. Right? Corpse Explosion carries the shit out of you to 18. So we play a Necro... We get to 18, then we kill Zoltan Cool and Magda, that we keep resetting for the bounties, or Asmodan or Skelly King, over and over and over, until they give us two diamonds. When we get two diamonds, we go to the jeweler, and we merge them into a better diamond, and then we go over here, and we sacrifice the diamond, and now items don't have a level requirement. Yes, you're right, Sarah, but the reason why you can't do that is that event is only available in January. So that strategy only works if the season starts in January. So it's April, so this doesn't work. If a Diablo 3 season ever starts in January, then you can cheat and do it even faster. So yes, that's the absolute best way, only works in January. Okay, I'm going to repeat it one more time quickly. One more time. Make a necro. Salvage the gear. Go to the altar, unlock the first node. Go get the cube. In Act 3, get to 18. When you're 18, kill Zoltan, Cool, and Magda Bounties until you have two diamonds. Merge the diamonds at the jeweler, turn it in. Now, log out and make whatever character you want. Let's say you make a demon hunter. You make a demon hunter, walk over to the blacksmith, make the highest level... Make the highest level... Make a bow. Where's the bow? Make a 
Make a bow 70 because it's not going to have a level requirement. Make the highest level quiver, make a belt, make boots, make one of everything. Put it on and you will be God. You're God now. Turn the difficulty as high as you can, T6, and just go do Ruins of Szechuan Chicken. Or uh, Temple of the Firstborn, I mean. Temple of the Firstborn. Keep clearing this until you're 70. You'll be 70 in 20 minutes, easily. Okay. I, I have a video on it. I have a video. It's there. It's on my YouTube. Alpha. Liktofin. Thank you so much for the primes and the subs, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. Use the cast or not, I'm going to use it. You should only save it if you're a super tryhard. Yes. It's not at 18, it's at 11, Wolf Spider. Exactly that, but at 11. So, this is a hint if you... When you start the game, you take the gear from the Templar and the Scoundrel. Do not talk to the Enchantress. Don't talk to her. Take their gear, salvage it, and then when you turn 11, she'll give you a godly weapon. This is much more important if you're, if you're saving the cash than if you're spending it, okay? Anyway, just let me show you. We'll do it multiple times. Song, please, exclamation song. But this is Stellar by Incubus. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? You have to upgrade the blacksmith to 70 to craft. Yes. If you open the cache, you can upgrade it. If you don't open the cache, then you have to do bounties on T1 to get a DB to upgrade the blacksmith, which is exactly why the Maxwell Guide tells you that. Start on T1. You have to do the bounties. And in order to upgrade the blacksmith, you have to get the DB out of the bounty caches. You can kill the bosses at level 1 and open the chests at 18. Yes, you can. I have found that that's never worth it. But yes, you can. You can do that. But I don't think that's worth it. You kill the bosses in two seconds with the golem anyway. Okay, let's do a run. We won't do it perfectly. We'll do okay. But then we'll go again and we'll do it better. We're going to go on 9. Ready? What do you uh, yeah. Talk to the Templar, take his shit. Talk to the Scoundrel, take his shit. Don't talk to the Enchantress. Don't talk to her. If you talk to her, you bricked it already. Don't talk to her. Put on your stuff. Um, we're just looking for green. Salvage this. Okay. Throw away your shit. Go to the altar. Unlock level one. Here we go. Unlock level one. Boink, I unlock level one. Now we're going to go, or I've already fucked. Well, no, actually, it's okay. This is good. Now we're going to go to the ruins of Szechuan Chicken. Now, we need to get to 18. Here we go. The, the guide can be applied at season 31. Yes. Okay. So. And it will be way easier on you than what you're seeing me do because I don't have the rope. You would have the rope tomorrow. I don't have it. So this is way harder on me than it will be on you. We don't really need much here. We don't need to pick up anything. At level four, you get corpse explosion. Keep walking and kiting. Okay, so I'm almost certain I went the wrong way. Take those pants, though. See how I'm still attacking them? Now I have corpse explosion. Corpse explosion is cheating. Corpse Explosion is way too strong in this game. Okay, I'm probably going to drop my Massacre here. Nope. Okay, keep moving. 
this uh, this massacre doesn't matter that much. Boom. Right, you see me one shot those blues. See me one shot those blues with corpse explosion. Don't spam corpse explosion. Don't spam all your attacks. The whole thing we're trying to do is we're trying to keep our massacre up, right? Keep your massacre up. Don't just spam everything. Uh, I think it's down. This is, this is not good. Don't just spam everything. Be calm. Be patient. Okay, it's got to be down here and to the left. I'm almost certain. I can't move at all. I'm crying. Let's blow all those guys up and keep moving here. Can I walk past them? Can I has a walk? All right. Okay, now let's keep going here. Okay. Chest. All right. Let's do that. Ow. We're not going to do the chest. We're going to keep going. Don't do the chest, my friends. We've got some marshmallows over here. Let's keep going. Drag them. Drag them. It'll be way easier for you to drag it and keep your mask up because you will have double the time on the rope than I currently do. So it'll be way easier on you. Okay. Okay, this is getting very dangerous. Playing on hardcore, by the way. If I die, I'm dead. Yeah, I am playing. I want to hit the 200 massacre. This is the door. I don't care about anything. I just want the 200 massacre. Okay. Can I get 11? Fuck yes, dude. Now we can do the we can do the uh, trick. This is really good. Watch this. This is really good. I'm probably going to get one shotted here because yeah, we're going to get screwed here. But where's the enchantress? The enchantress now will give me a godly staff. Oh, yeah. Yep. What was that upgrade? 400% damage upgrade. The problem is, is I can't survive here. There's no surviving. So, we're looking for green on the defense here. Any green on the defense? Any green on the... D you will have money, by the way. You will have money to buy this. I'll take green on the defense. I can even buy rings. Double int, and then like that. Wow. Okay. All right. Now, bone spear. Not sure if this is the thing. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Corpse explosion is fine. I don't want the skellies. They're just going to ruin everything for me. Can I take the skellies off? I'll use skelly mage. I'll just never cast them. And I'll take maybe this. Okay, let's see if I can stay alive here. Here we go. I should be real strong, but I should be super squishy. Even with all of that... Uh, even with all of the defense that I just picked up. The fireflies, you see those fireflies? That's by far the thing that will kill you the most. We don't let any fireflies ever survive. Okay, there's no monsters here. That's fine. Let's keep moving. Don't, the number one target for you is always the fireflies. You attack the fireflies first. Okay, I'm actually doing too much damage, hilariously enough. Nice, my bone spear can't go up the ramp. Okay, well, I mean, I'm still alive. Take it. All right, I don't know where to go. This is probably a dead end. Yeah. Let's try this way. Keep making me more stuff, guys. Come on. 
Keep on a walking, boys. Nice, nice. This is good. This is good. Okay. Let's go this way. Blow those guys up. Uh, that was bad. Okay. That was bad. Please walk. I want to kill all of them. Don't want to kill all of them. Just be patient. There's going to be a blue elite pack up here that's going to be very dangerous soon. So this is going to be quite the fight. There could be a cursed chest up here and we apps. Okay, I'm in huge trouble here. I don't want to die. Playing hardcore. Monsters? Okay. There's no monsters anywhere. It's too bad. Oh. Can't really feel too bad about that one. They just didn't give me any monsters. Okay. Well, we're already 15. Now, when your massacre drops, just forget it and just go get the cube. The cube should be up here to the left and then... Oh, it's actually already here. Wow, that was a really short map. Should have been up to the left and to the right, but okay, so now I have the cube. Okay, so I actually dropped the massacre at the end. That wasn't even that bad. Okay, now we leave the game. And now you can turn it down. You can go like, you never, rule number one of Diablo 3 is never play on expert difficulty. The mathematics is not there. So don't, don't ever play on expert. Expert is dog shit. So let's go here and let's buy some stuff. This looks nice. This looks nice. Again, you probably don't have to pay this much attention if you're not playing hardcore, but I'm playing hardcore. I'm trying not to die. Now we have the cube. 18% toughness. I just want to live. I just want to live. That's it. I don't care about anything else. Uh, bloody mess. Don't need anything else, really. Let's go to the Temple of the Firstborn. Okay. We need to get to 18. Okay, we're super powerful here. Need to get to 18. Shouldn't be too bad. Might have a cursed chest right here. Yep. Easy. Go for that. Blow them up. We don't like elites, so let's try to kill that elite as fast as we can. Yep. Yep. Okay. We're actually probably already about done, right? We probably don't even need to keep fighting. But let's just do it just to be safe. So we already have a 200 massacre and we just started. Already have a 200 massacre. Corpse explosion is actually cheating. Okay, let's see what this puts us at. Okay. I thought we would already be 18, but clearly I was... Not even close. It's no problem. Let's finish it off here. Bad calculation there, I guess. I keep trying to evade. I'm so used to Diablo 4. Trying to evade all the time, but there is no evade in this game. Okay, let's get some kills here. But don't kill them all. Just kill most of them. 
See how I leave some alive all the time? See how I purposely corpse explode not in the dead center of a pack? Because if you do that, you're going to kill them all. Don't do that. You can corpse explode back there. That's fine. Okay. Those guys are all dead for sure. Keep walking, boys. Let's go. Yep. Can corpse explode maybe over there. Okay. Oh, they're gonna explode on me. Okay. I should be about done here. Uh, a load drop. Damn. Okay, there we go. I said it didn't pay me anything. All right. Still not good enough. So we didn't play very well here. We should have held our massacre way more than we did. So we kind of played bad. Okay. Is that going to be enough? Let's take the Splendy. That will Splendy never hurts. Take all that. Now we're looking for those two bounties that I talked about. So let's look for them. Uh, here, no, kill Magda. This works. Go kill Magda. What you're supposed to do is put your golem on your bar now. Golem. Flesh golem. And then when you fight Magda, throw your golem on Magda and press corpse explosion and she will die instantly. Allow me to demonstrate that. If not instantly, then she will be badly, badly hurt. Okay, here we go. You can't lower the difficulty in hardcore. You could in softcore, you can't in hardcore. But yes, you want to play on normal. You don't need to have a higher difficulty. If I do a new game, I will put it on normal. Yeah. Okay, watch. Throw the golem. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so she's actually pretty tough on hard. That's actually shocking. That was impressive. Boop, 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 boop. Remember, corpse explosion is everything. Boom, oh, gone. Okay, we need two diamonds. <laughs> Come on, two diamonds. Is that one diamond? God damn it! Gotta go again. New game? Normal? Lowest difficulty? Ghost Runner gifted three subs. <sighs> Ghost Runner, come on, man. Thank you, my dude. Spend your money on you, Ghost Runner. Okay, and I don't have a single one of the bounties that I need. New game. And back in. Tab or M here. No, here. No, kill Magda again. Let's go. Can check here if you have any upgrades. Pretty much just looking for damage at this point because if you stack damage, you can just kill her instantly. Okay. Okay, in we go. <laughs> Get wrecked, Magna. Okay, we got the diamond. Okay, now back to town, transmute it, walk to the thing, and then we're done. <laughs> back to act one. Go here. Make a better diamond. Go here. Might have to level her up one time. Flawless diamond. 
Boom, walk around. And we're going to stop the timer. Boom. 17 minutes and 13 seconds. Done. That was pretty good. That was really good for our first run. Didn't die. Didn't die. And I got to 18 in under 18 minutes. Done what? Leveling is over. It's over. Now you can make any character that you want instantly in there, God. It's over. Why can't we see the altar? It comes back to the game tomorrow. How can you explain, please? Okay. Yep. It's all right. I'll explain it again. Here we go. I'm going to explain it to you. Here we go. Okay. So, the altar of rights is in the game forever. Okay. Altar of it called rights it's now in the game forever starting tomorrow forever it has nothing to do with the season it's in the game forever the first node gives you a double rope okay that makes the massacres easier right the second node removes level requirement There's a new D3 season tomorrow. Lol, didn't you just say you weren't going to make D3 content anymore? Okay, slip, follow me here. There is a platform called Twitch. Let me, let me rephrase this. There's live streaming. And then there's videos. See, what we're doing here is we're live streaming. We're playing the game. What I said was we're not going to make Diablo 3 videos anymore. Does that make sense? Have you seen me make a tier list? Have you seen me make a leveling guide? Ah. Wait, this is live? It's okay. Sometimes we gotta we gotta talk through things. Okay. So follow me here, guys. The altar of rights is now gonna be permanent in Diablo Diablo three. Okay. Starting tomorrow. All right. So this. Removes level requirement of gear. So if you can unlock this, you become God. That means if you have this node, you can walk to the blacksmith and craft level 70 gear or level 60 gear only if you don't open the cache, it depends. And you can craft, oh, I don't know, a two-handed axe with 3,000 damage on it and one-shot everything in the game. Right? Okay. So, all we need to do to beat leveling is unlock this, this. If we unlock this, we won. So, of course, the question is, how the hell do you unlock that as fast as possible? You need two diamonds. That's the requirement, two diamonds. Diamonds drop at level 18 from boss bounties at any, at any difficulty. So how do we get to 18 as fast as possible? We make a necro and we corpse explode. Once we're 18 and we get the two diamonds and we go to the altar, we make a new character, we craft level 70 gear or 60 gear if you didn't open the altar everywhere, 
70, 70, I have a 70 weapon, 70 chest, 70 helmet, 70 pants, 70 boots, 70 everything. And then you turn the difficulty up to T6 and you one shot everything to 70 in two seconds. So if you can get to 18, get two diamonds and walk over here and unlock the second node, you have essentially beat Diablo 3 leveling. Because now you log out, make your character, craft 70 gear, and now you're God. Okay. Is everybody clear? Does everybody, is everybody clear on that? Does everybody understand? Or no? We'll do another run. I'll show you again. That was pretty good, though. 17, 13. How do you get the amount of gold for leveling the blacksmith? If you are if you are not going to open the cache, which is what almost none of you should do, you should just open the cache. I'm going to open the cache. If you want to be a super tryhard and not open it, then it's the same strategy, but it gets harder. Now you must play on Torment 1. And you must do a full round of bounties. So one, you have to do five bounties at Torment 1. The reason why you must do this is because you have to get a Death's Breath to upgrade the blacksmith. And that's also where your gold will come from. It will be way harder and... You will not be able to craft 70 gear. You will craft, I think it's 61 gear. Or maybe it's even 58 gear. I can't remember. It's one of these two. It's a lot harder. Visions are still in the game, yes. Woody collects the cash tiers. That's okay. I mean, Woody can definitely not open the cash, and it's a little bit harder to level up. It, if you're a player of Woody's caliber and you're going to Giga Blast, then by all means, don't open the cash. If I was going to play Diablo 3 for an extended period of time and make a massive push for like three rank one clears on three different characters in the first weekend, then I would absolutely not open the cache and just do it the hard way, which is no problem. I can do it easily. But uh, that's not my plan at all. I'm going to blast on the first day. Let's see what we can do on the first day. And then I'm going to go softcore for group play for a little bit. If you don't have Necro unlocked, then you have to skip the season. If you don't have Necro, then just forget it. No, if you don't have Necro, the second best option is Witch Doctor. Do Witch Doctor. The new season starts tomorrow. The new season starts tomorrow. Okay, so let's do another run. And let's try to beat 1713. But honestly, 1713 seems like a really good time. Under 18 minutes seems real good. I'm very happy with that. Massive respect for digging 100 yesterday racks on hardcore in last epoch. Thank you, man. Yeah. Got a couple 100s on hardcore, actually. I'm sure I'll die in season four, Diablo four, though. I kept saying, like, Yo, dude, I have capped armor, capped resistances. I have a life roll on every single thing, and I'm still getting one-shotted in pit level 80. Okay, let's do another run, guys. For reinforcement, let's do one more. 
And then maybe I'll show you. Someone's asking to see the Witch Doctor do it. That's fine. I'd be honestly, I got no idea what to do on Witch Doctor. I just know when I practice it all the time that Witch Doctor is easily the second best. I'm talking about the Challenge Rift cache. Challenge Rift, Challenge Rift, yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's try this again. Let's try to beat 17, what was it? Low 17s, I can't remember. Okay, we're going on 9. Don't talk to the Enchantress. Don't talk to the Enchantress. Buy everything that he's got. It doesn't matter. That's not... That's really not very good stuff. We're going to salvage this stuff. Uh, okay, let's throw that away. Throw this away. Throw this away. I think I'm actually... This gear is so bad. I might actually check another vendor because this gear blows. Let's see if I can get anything better here. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, I don't even have a shield, right? All right, let's go to Ruins of Szechuan Chicken. You know, I made a fucking mistake. God damn. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Let's try to get to 11. That was like a 200 massacre to 11 last time. 11 will give me my staff. I should have crafted a couple of things at the blacksmith, but I forgot. Okay, here we go. Let's try to do this quickly here. I think... One change I'm going to make is I'm going to do uh, Temple of the Firstborn on Master this time. Oh, yeah, I don't have Corpse Explosion. Can't do anything. Hmm. wonder which way I should go. This way. Still don't have Corpse Explosion, so that's not good. Can't do anything without Corpse Explosion. Okay, so I already messed up, unfortunately. I should have crafted some stuff. Okay, can I get Corpse Explosion going here? Okay, we got a big boy over here. That's not good. I think I'm almost certainly going the wrong way. Oh, I can't even move. All right, let's not play games here. Let's get rid of these guys. I'm almost certain that that's the wrong way. So let's go this way. And this guy is absolutely murdering me. So that's not good. Okay, he's dead. I'm still alive, barely. Okay, that's done right there. I just got hit by some kind of wagon, which dropped my massacre. Okay, so this is not good. We're not in a good spot here. Um, we were in a much better spot last time. All right, let's see what we can do here. Anything? Is anything doable here? Let's pop open that. Let's walk this way. Okay, I don't really want to fight these blues. Let's blow them up like that. Up those guys back there. Okay. 11 is really the magical number because I made a mistake. If I had played better, then any, any level would have worked. But since I didn't play well, now I have it's 11 or nothing. And the odds of me getting to 11 here are not good. So, I don't exactly know what I'm going to do here, actually. Well, what do I have? Ten? Hmm. Um, well... Ten, huh? I don't really want... I don't want the skeletons. And now I'm in combat. Excellent. Excellent. 
I don't want the skeleton, so... Anything that isn't the skeletons. Because they're just going to get in my way. Um, so this is quite, quite bad, actually. Um, we're in trouble here. I need one of these guys to die. There we go. Could I possibly get... Enough of a massacre here to go back and oh no, the big boys are here. Oh my god, no. No! The big boys are here. There's usually three of them. Why are there only two of them? Okay, that might have been enough. That is enough. Okay, let's this is very, very bad, but let's just drop this massacre. Thanks, God. Oh, I got out. Lit. Okay. Help me, Enchantress. Help me. Give me your staff. Thank you. Okay, we saved it. Now, uh, everything here blows. Okay. Let's just go. Our gear is terrible here, so we're in massive trouble, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We have damage. We have no survivability here, so. We have damage, but we have no survivability. Let's kill the marshmallows there. Okay, that was way too much damage. Take a frenzied shrine, sure. Let's um let's just run through this. It's okay. I don't really care how this goes. Cause I'm in I'm in danger here. I'm in a Ralph Wiggum level of danger here. So we need to uh We need to get to the cube and we need to get out of here because we can absolutely die here. We can absolutely die. It is super possible. And there may be nothing that I can do about it. So let's keep going north here. Oh, oh, oh. This is why you go for the fireflies first. If you were wondering why to go for the fireflies, because they're the ones that just about killed me there. I will take that. Okay. So this run is terrible, but I'm still alive. So this is also incorrect. So we need to go this way. This is definitely not where we want to be. Okay. It's not right. So let's try this way and then down and then should be on the right here. Yes. Okay. So that was an abomination of a run. It was terrible. All right, let's go new game. I do have the cube now. That's nice. I'm going to keep it on master. I'm going to be brave. Have I ever played Diablo 2? Um, we won Diablo 2. We won the D2R world race to number one. Yeah. I had over 10,000 hours in Diablo 2. We won the uh, race, the first race in Diablo 2. To f the race to 99. Let's do the bite to stay alive. Okay, let's check the build here. Let's go corpse explosion, bloody mess. I don't care about any of this really. I guess, do we have golem yet? Take the golem. Actually, I don't really want. I don't want the golem. I, I lied. Okay. There's a new season tomorrow, guys. New season tomorrow. Yes. Okay, I'm trying this on Master. I don't know. Let's try it.
Okay, 65 dead. Got the curse chest immediately. It's a very good result. You don't have to spam Corpse Explosion mercilessly, right? You can be a little bit calm with it. Just as I say that, my Massacre drops, even though I was playing perfectly, I don't understand. I actually don't understand how my Massacre dropped. How did it drop there? Like, what even happened? Luckily, tomorrow it won't drop with the rope, but that should have never dropped. Okay. Let's suppose, actually, if you dropped it, I just thought of something. If you drop it early and you hit 18 before the, you open the chest, can the chest give you diamonds? Okay, I'm already done here. Okay, let's get out. Diablo 3 spaghetti coating strikes again. Get out of here, boys. Okay. We leave. We go normal. Well, we are obliterating our time even though we played bad. Play bad, get rewarded. Play bad, get rewarded. Holy shit, man. I can't get any of the bounties that I need. Come on, dude. Um, nope. Thank you. Now I want the golem. Increased damage, I will take that. Alright, can we one-shot ZK here? And he teleported away from my corpse explosions, but it didn't matter, he's dead anyway. Need two diamonds. Lit! Zero diamonds! Imagine getting zero. Lit. Gold wrap. Thanks for showing me the fast way. Yes, sir. Okay, he's dead. Two diamonds. I see one diamond. <sighs> Goodbye, time. O.J. Simpson just died? Is that actually true? Or is this a debate? O.J. Simpson dies after battle with cancer. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have opinions on that matter that I should not share. What's up? 
I'm scared to ask. Celebrating what? <laughs> he was a killer football player. I see what you did there. He was a killer football player. Wow. Well, I played so much better this round, and look at me go. I've spent six minutes trying to get two diamonds. His kills were insane. I mean, skills. There we go. And, of course, I got two diamonds on that run. This Diablo 4 map is a ripoff. There's a brand new Diablo 3 season tomorrow. All right, I cut one minute off of my time, 16.10. It could have been literally four minutes faster than that if I would just stop getting so unlucky. Yeah, I know, I know. You don't want to do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. No. Yeah, don't do that. I know you can do that, but don't do that. The problem is not killing the boss. The Killing the boss is easy, and that only helps you if you hit 18 in one fell swoop, which I didn't do a single. Well, I guess technically I did do it a single time if you keep it on master, but you want to re-log to buy gear from the vendors anyway for the run on master in the temple of the firstborn, so don't kill the bosses at level one. Is there an XP boost for the pet? I mean, no, there's pets don't give you anything. They just fly around next to you. Oh. No, 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 you eat them. They're for you. Uh, yes, but let's do it in, let's do it not right now, maybe in like two hours or something. Are you eating now? Oh. I mean, you can. It's only 1030, though. Okay, well, let's send it then. I did it in 16 minutes, but it could have been 12. Just kept resetting and resetting and can't get the damn diamond. Holy fuck, why, D3, let's go! Why can you only kill, you said, three of the bosses? Because they're right by the portal. Oh. There's four. Zoltan Cool, Magda, Asmodan, Skelly King are by the portal. Zoltan Cool is literally on the portal. So that's the best one by far. The music. The music isn't playing? The music is playing. What? If I can have the motivation to do so. We'll see. That'll have to be a game time decision. Wait. 
Yeah, just wait as long as you can, and then I can eat with you. Okay, someone wants to see a, a Witch Doctor run. This is going to be fun. I literally have no idea what to do. For a million dollars, I don't think I could name you a low-level Witch Doctor skill. Um, uh, corpse toads, is that? Th plague toads? I have no fucking idea. It doesn't matter. Thank you. Why do I hate on the witch doctor? The only thing wrong with witch doctors is everything. I think you have to play on hard on witch doctor. I don't think you can go master. All right. Poison darts. Corpse spiders, plague of corpse spiders. God, okay. Well, we want locust swarm, but we're never getting that. We need haunt for sure. But I'm not shaking, guys. There's the world's first earthquake in Nebraska happening. I'm not shaking. All right, well. Corp spiders, uh, graspy hands, and haunt. God, this is going to be a shit show. All right. We're going on nine. What is going to happen every nine? This is pretty good. <sighs> A simple kniffy. Here we go. Look at me go. I'm a witch doctor. Woo! Witch doctor. All right. Let's go, witch doctor. Yep. That is exactly the level of enthusiasm that I also share for witch doctor. Uh, hope Graspy Hands is strong. Okay, yeah. What's it actually called? You don't know what? I don't care what it's actually called. It's called Graspy Hands now. That's what it's called. Dude, there's so many fucking objects in front of me, I can't. Let's try the spiders for fun. Where are my dogs at? Oh, dude, I actually get zombie dogs? Lit! Where are my dogs at? Oh, yes, dude. This just got way better. Where are my dogs at? Guys, what do you think is stronger? One necro or 15 witch doctors?
Guys, this is why you buy the Necro Pack. If this wasn't... If this wasn't an effective advertisement for... The Necro Pack, I don't know what will be. I don't understand. How are these guys taking zero damage? What the fuck? By the way, guys, this is hard difficulty. Do you see how difficult this is? The Necro was playing on Master. By the way, it doesn't go hard Master. It goes hard Expert Master. Necro was playing two difficulties higher. A thousand times easier. This is the, this is the difference. Necro was playing on master. This guy's playing on hard. What? You could, you'd just be slower. If you have Necro, you just go Necro. It Necro is definitely the answer. Necro's way, way faster than everything else by a lot. Rule number one of Witch Doctor, never play Witch Doctor. Oh God, danger. I'm gonna die here, I think, actually, unfortunately. I, I think I'm dead here. And no, I'm not being cute. I actually think I'm dead here, see? Uh, I have to stay right, right where I am in the open. The only way I'm going to stay alive, I must stay right in the open right here. If I get cornered, I'm dead. Okay. 
Help me, guys. Help me. Help me, help me. Yeah, my, um, unfortunately, my hand is in huge trouble. I was trying to, I was trying to just ignore it. I was trying to just ignore it and make it not obvious that my hand was killing me, but a little ways into the uh, podcast. I just couldn't do it anymore, man. I had to. Uh, not the greatest, but doable. Um, I had to. Like. Just nonstop massage it just to keep. Keep sitting there. Am I saving the cash? Absolutely not. Spending it instantly? Absolutely not. We need to get to 10, and then I'm going to try something bold. I need to get to 10. Big boy. Great. Exactly who we didn't want to see. Bane. Thanks, Bane. Thanks for showing up, man. So glad to see you. I need to just be 11. Okay, we're going to leave here. All right, I'm going to try to play on Master like a Necro, because now I have Haunt, right? Or maybe Haunt is 12. Big plays, guys. Big plays. Don't try this at home. When do I get Haunt? Twelve. Shit. Wah. Big plays, boys. Big plays. Of course, I get the world's hardest elite pack as my first monster. I love that. Just love that. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Might be dead here. World's hardest elite pack at the door. Lit. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. I really need Haunt here is what I need. I'm going to drop this on purpose. The 
Let's put um, raspy hands here. Now haunt should carry me, I hope. Haunt, carry me. Kill stuff. No, haunt, it's too powerful. It killed everything. Get him, Haunt. How the fuck are the monsters? Can I have the armor? Thank you. Paul's one. Okay. Demon Hunter Cloak. Thank you for that one. Ow. 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 No, not an elite. No. 
I've done that. Guys, I need easy stuff to kill. That's not easy to kill. What is wrong with you? Kill Smash. No. I have Spirit Walk. Do I have it already? This early? Okay, that wasn't even that bad. One diamond. All right, five teleporting phase beasts on me. God, I love that. Two handed me. Get ready to get dicked, Asmodan, if I can survive this. Another phase beast? Another one? Are you fisting me? Oh, yes. Let the dicking begin. Voodoo mask. Cack W, man. Nice. No diamond. Thanks, God.
Excellent. Well, might as well put on the voodoo mask. Tincho, thank you so much for the prime, my dude. Dude, how? Oh my god, dude. had to leave and come back he was a necro you know i don't know what i decided i decided the necro was way too weak and i wanted a big power upgrade by going to a witch doctor another two-handed mace are you fisting me diablo give me a fucking diamond Which two-handed maze is this? The same one? Nope. I mean, I've literally been sitting here for 10 minutes trying to get two diamonds. Never play Witch Doctor, guys. Never. Well, yeah, 50% longer with Witch Doctor, but the problem is, is I've also been sitting here for 10 minutes resetting games, trying to get two diamonds. Meanwhile, I have five amethysts. So this is extremely unfair to the Witch Doctor. I should have been done quite a long time ago. Cannot believe that this is still happening. For the love of God, finally. Okay, it took 11 more minutes on the Witch Doctor, but par uh, a large portion of that, at least five of the minutes, were to due to horrendous RNG of getting two diamonds. Can I go again? Because I can go below 25. Not in a million years. We're never playing Witch Doctor ever again. Once is enough. But yes, you could have done it faster than that. I just had horrendous RNG. It's absolutely out of the question that we go again on Witch Doctor. Time for Seder. Good one, Crush Equity. Good one. D 
Demon Hunter is the same. You you go Necro, guys. You go Necro, Necro. Start Necro, then switch. Start Necro, then switch. Why start Necro? Because they can get to 18 the fastest. We, we've went over this like two or three times so far. Let's do one more run, and then I'll explain it at the end of that run. Because if I explain it again, then at the end of the run, we're going to get asked again. So now there's one more thing I should show you. The other thing I should show you is the super hard mode version. The hard mode version is you don't open the cache, and it's a lot harder. So, like, I guess let's do one of those. Let's go on hardcore. I, there's a very high chance I die here. It's very tough. You have to play on Torment 1. I'll explain why later, but you must play on Torment 1. I don't even think you can do this. You can't even do this strategy unless you have the Necro. I don't think the other classes can do it. Maybe a Witch Doctor could do it. I don't think it would be... Well, I guess if if you're on Softcore, it doesn't matter. Softcore, you could do it on any class. On Hardcore, Necro is about the only option that you have. Blades on hardcore. Yeah, we're, we'll start the timer when we begin. We absolutely cannot start on a kill Belial. We're not doing that. I guess the t the timing should include fishing for seeds. I guess. So we'll start the timer in a second. Um, Tincho, Sinextro, Davlin. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Be right back one second, and then I'm going to show you the hard mode version of this.
Guys, I have the greatest news. Guys. Oh. I almost had to go on a trip next month. And now I don't have to. Oh, thank God. I almost had to travel somewhere. Yes. God, traveling is so effing terrible. He loves me, who loves me? Why is that? Oh, it's just not working out, but let me tell you, I am not upset about it. You should just get a laptop and stream on board. It's got nothing to do with, I, I can solve the streaming issue. That's not the problem. It's just traveling anywhere blows for any reason. I would definitely say so, Super Mike. By the way, the Paragon cap is gone now, right? I don't think the Paragon cap is in the game anymore. The Paragon cap is gone. Hey, look, it's Jeremy. I see Jeremy has still been blasting. XP meta prediction. Is it still... Well, Necros are going to be gods. Are, are Crusaders still owning everybody with their pony build? <laughs> Four months on the high moon. <laughs> uh, four months on the high moon, huh? Wait. Wait, did I, wait, I think I might have got my thing. Wait, I got the thing for you guys, maybe. Hold on. Wait. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got to fill in some info. And I'm going to have the no rest for the wicked discount code for you guys. I think it's significant. Hold on. Wait. You want to know what's funny? Oh. Okay. Like, all right. I don't mean to be that guy, right? Well, I better not say it. You guys are just going to get mad at me. Never mind. Okay. Okay. 
they're going to accept my request and then I'm going to be able to give you cheap no rest for the wicked. All right. What's cheap? Uh, $7 off. It's like a $40 game. You can buy it for like 33. I think this link says I get 5% revenue share, but I don't give a French toast about that. I want to give you guys $7 off. I accepted, or I, I sent the request for them to give me the link now. So once they accept it, then I have the link for you. Finally, we're in there. All right. Once they accept it, I'm going to spam the link. Everybody, I think most people are going to play No Rest for the Wicked. If you guys don't know, it's a Dark, it's a Dark Souls ARPG. I think it comes out on April 18th. A lot of people, I played the, the early access of it. It was very difficult, but very fun. I can get it for you like, a pretty significant discount once they give me this link. If you buy it, I get 5%. Wow. Hold the cow. So if you guys spend like $32, every time you buy it, I'm going to get like a dollar. Holy sh If seven people buy it, I can buy a Chipotle burrito. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. No, I don't give a shit about the 5% for me. I want you guys to get $7 off. All right, let's try the hard mode here. Okay. Okay. Awesome, Jim. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. Okay, guys, I'm going to explain this one last time, okay? I'm going to explain it in full, and if people ask me later in the stream to explain it again, the answer is going to be go back into the stream. I'm sorry. Okay. Everybody, why am I practicing D3? Because the new D3 season is tomorrow. All right, here we go. Okay. I'm going to explain this one time, all right? Here we go. One more time, here we go. All right. Starting tomorrow, the Altar of Rights is back. So the Altar of Rights is back forever in Diablo 3. You can use this altar to level up way faster. I'm going to show you how. So first of all, the easiest way to explain it is Maxwell has a full guide right here, right? Read this. 1 to 70 leveling guide resources, 1 to 70 leveling guide, right? Here, I'll spam it in chat if you, so you don't need to take any notes. There you go. All right, now, let me explain it to you in plain English. With the Altar of Rights, you can make a decision here. You can either open the challenge rift cache or you can not open it you can open it or you can not open it ninety nine percent of you should open it I am going to open it okay if you don't open it, it's going to be harder. So what happens if you open it? If you open it, you get a bunch of materials which make the game very, very easy. And if you don't open it, you have nothing. So let me explain what happens here. In the Altar of Rites, you unlock powers. The first power is double the rope. So you can keep your massacre bonuses up very easily. 
but we don't care about that too much. What we care about is this. The second power is there's no level requirement on items. This obsoletes Diablo 3 leveling. If you have this power, you win. Everything is free, right? On every item. So, in both of these scenarios, we need to understand what is the fastest way to unlock this. It requires two diamonds. Two diamonds, and then you can, and then you can uh, be a god. Okay, so how do you do it if you open the challenge rift cache? The challenge rift cache gives you death's breaths, which is the most important thing. So you have life very easy. You make a necro, because necros are way stronger than every other class. You make a necro no matter what you want to play. If you want to play a demon hunter, you make a necro. If you want to play a crusader, you make a necro. If you want to make play a necro, you play a necro. You always start with necro. If you don't have the necro pack, then you go witch doctor, it's going to be slower. Okay, now we go get the cube. Okay. And then when you're done, you're going to be like level 15. We must, in order to get these two diamonds, we need to be 18. Then you go to the Temple of the Firstborn and get to 18. Then you do normal bounties, normal boss bounties, and open the chest until you get two diamonds. I just did three runs of this. I did two on Necro. I did it in 17 minutes and then 16 minutes. And then I just did a run on Witch Doctor and it was 27. But the 27 was bad because I got bad RNG. It's more like a 22. Okay, so Necro is six minutes faster. Right. Once you have these two diamonds, then you make whatever character you really want, and then you craft level 70 gear, and you're a god. Now, it's way harder if you don't open it. It's supposed to be a one. If you don't open it, you don't have any DBs, and you need a DB. The only way you can get a DB early on is by doing a full round of T1 bounties. So again, you make a necro and you do T1 bounties. At the end, you will get a DB. And then you do the same thing. Temple of the Firstborn, then the boss bounty. Then you make whatever you actually want to play. But doing these T1 bounties on a brand new character is very difficult. Really, the only class that can do it easily is necro. The other classes are going to struggle. Witch Doctor is probably, again, the second best option. But Necro is way better than, than, than the other classes, again. Okay? So, if you look at the Max Roll Guide, it explains step-by-step step what I just told you. If you open the cache, just go get the cube, Elder Sanctum. Go get the cube, okay? Then when you're 18, reduce the difficulty to normal. Do boss bounties until you have two diamonds. Then you get anointed and you're done. If you don't, if you don't open it, then you must do T1 bounties. If you do master bounties, it will not work. Because you won't get a DB, and then you can't upgrade the blacksmith to craft the godly gear. You must do it on Torment 1. It's required. It's very difficult. So I'm about to do a run on Torment 1 on Hardcore, and it's not going to be pretty. 
do you guys understand the basics of the strategy? And if you don't understand, ask me your questions now, because we've explained this four times already, and I'm not going to do it again. What questions do you have? Do you have to wait a week? No, you have to wait two days. On Monday, the challenge drift resets. Can you get a DB in visions? You could. I think that is possible, yes. Can you get a DB lower than T1? I'm not sure. Necro skill choice, corpse explosion. Bone spear and bone spikes, corpse explosion. It's definitely a speed run, Gymnasium. It's absolutely a speed run. Why D3? Is there a new season? New season tomorrow. Speak now or forever hold your penis. Yes. Ghost Runner gifted a sub to Jeremy. Thank you, my dude. By the way, Ghost Runner has gifted 1,349 subs. <sighs> Ghost Runner, please. Thank you. Can you please spend your money on you? Zeno, Pilferk. Thank you for the subs, guys. The DB is for the blacksmith upgrade. That's exactly right. That's going to be a chargeback. If Ghost Runner charged back hit all of his gifted subs, I would be like $6 million in debt. What's the long-term benefit of not opening the cash? I'm so glad you asked that. It's a good question. If you don't open the cash, then you can do uh, I don't, alter, alter levels. You can get alter levels 14 through 26 about 1.5 days early. Keep in mind that you can complete you can complete these levels. You just can't turn them in. But once the challenge rift resets on Monday, you can just instantly turn them all in and be done. So you can still work on them and finish them and just turn them in on Monday. Season 30 is down, Nick. Season 30 ended on, on Tuesday. You cannot turn them in until Monday because level 14 requires a challenge rift cache. That's why you can't turn it in until Monday. Keep in mind, EU is heavier penalized than NA. EU has a much heavier, well, kind of a heavier penalty, which is explained somewhere here. Uh, is it? Is it in this guide? Uh, am I stupid? Where is it? Here. This is it. NA has to wait 68 hours and EU has to wait 83 hours from the start, from the start of the season to the beginning of the challenge rift. But remember, you don't lose this much time because you have to level up and you have to reach level 14. So you can't say the penalty is 68 hours. That's completely wrong. The penalty is whenever you reach alter level 14. 
And for most people, it's going to take you a while to reach altar level 14. You're not just going to fly there. And then EU has to wait 83 hours. Because the reason why is EU starts nine hours early and then their challenge rift comes out five hours after. Or no, six hours after. So it's a 15 hour penalty for being on EU. So you lose almost an entire other day. Why would you play this season if you played last season? Well, I mean, it's just for fun on the reset. Do you have fun on the reset or no? If you don't have fun on the reset, then, then don't play. Papa, thank you for the sub, my dude. Oh, this guide's been ready for a while, guys. We we wrote this guide a long time ago. I mean, look. I mean, for example, this guide, I wrote this a long time ago. It tells you every single... This tells you every single power and what it requires and how what's the fastest way to do it so this guide might really 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 help you so save this one you need to understand this i spammed it Dude, 20 GR keys? Are you fisting me, Blizzard? <laughs> A staff of herding guide. Unbelievable. <laughs> the staff of herding. <laughs> the staff of herding, yeah. How many views does this have? I have <laughs> 528,000 people hate putting together this stuff. <laughs> God, that's funny, dude. <laughs> uh, people hate the staff of hurting. Permanent season feature. I'm kind of surprised. Did they not put it in the vanilla game? I mean, nobody play nobody plays outside of a season anyway, so it doesn't matter, but
looking at this guide reminds me of the good old days where I would stream all day, make YouTube videos all night, and then instead of sleeping, I would stay up until the crack of dawn writing all of these guides for you guys and editing guides for millions and millions and billions of years, and then I'd get no sleep and I'd get back up and do it all again. I did that for four or five straight years, man. Oh, man. I can't explain to you how difficult it is to make one of these guides. To make the, I even see problems here, like the spacing in this table is bad. This spacing should be almost zero, and this spacing needs to be adjusted, so I can already see problems here. So many... So many things, man. This is a way to get all the power out of the tree without taking any quality of life first. Oh, the good old times. Feels weird, fix it, Rex. Nah, I'm good. My POE guides are easy to understand. You mean the beginner guides that I made? Yeah, I haven't made any build guides yet, but I will make a lot of build guides in POE too. I will I'll teach you guys how to dominate that game. It'll be it will be easy. I will be a god of Path of Exile too. I'm an absolute dumbass in PoE 1, but I will be a god of PoE 2. I can 99.9% .9 promise that. Okay. When is PoE 2 coming out? Uh, well, we're going to be very lucky to get it in 2025. Very lucky. They delayed the PoE 2 closed beta till the end of 2024 so maybe 2025 is still on the table but they they shared in a dev interview recently that a lot of the fundamental things about poe2 they're not happy with they said that you know some of the progression of some of the builds does not progress the way that they want to and they also said that they don't understand why so, like, in their design meetings, like, they thought that the progression would go a certain way, and then when people tested it, it did not go that way, and they, they openly admitted that they don't know why. So, when you have, like, fundamental things off like that, your only option is to do what they did, is to delay the game and fix it. What sets are Hadrig's gift? Yeah, it's on max roll. Uh, it's on max roll. Resources, Hadrig's gift. Here you go. Wizards get Talrasha. Barbarians get Wrath of the Waste. UE is good. What are going to be the best builds? The tier list will be updated. I mean, this was updated on April 1st. <laughs> Did they just put every Necro build at the top? Anything Necro will be the best. Anything Necro will be the best.
because it's the season of cube anything in any slot, and Necros have by far the best weapon powers. So Necros getting three weapons is essentially cheating. Yeah, so this is already updated, by the way. This is already correct. This is weapon, weapon. Imagine wearing a weapon, cubing a weapon, and cubing another weapon. This is already updated. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me go back. I don't understand though. I thought I thought there was a pony build that just one shots everything. Is this not the Where's the po I thought it was like a belt or something. Here it is. Or no. It's in the cube. Where? Where's the thing that makes Pony cast? Oh, oh, it is Vigilante Belt. Oh. Oh, okay. I forgot that they put it on Vigilante Belt. Oh. Do you know how many seasons in a row I begged Blizzard to give Crusaders this? Like, I don't know. Like, where are all my Chipotle gift cards and fruit baskets from all the Crusaders out there? I told them over and over and over and over to give Crusaders auto Fist of the Heavens on Pony. Did they ever say why they didn't? Hmm. Well, they just had other priorities, and I kept telling them, guys, Crusader is last on my tier list every single season. For the love of all that is holy, will you please give them, the at least give them the auto lightning pony. Give them something. I don't even like Crusaders, man. It was totally absurd in season 30. Was it really? Was it too powerful? But here's the question, Tempest. Was it fun? Is it still super broken in season 30, 31? completely absurd and boring I don't know about you guys but riding around on a pony and electrocuting everything instantly that is not boring to me that's fun
see, some people in chat like to do things. I don't like to do anything. I like to just win. Doing stuff sucks. D3 leaderboards are mostly cheaters? Yes. I don't know if a Diablo 3 leaderboard has ever been won by a legitimate person. I don't know if that has literally ever happened. <laughs> Hi, Scooter. How you doing, buddy? Can you use T-HUD for whatever you want and nothing else? You can absolutely use T-HUD because you can absolutely use T-HUD because Blizzard's not going to ban you for it. And, you know, it's whatever. Go ahead. They're not going to ban you for it. Forty one second GR one hundred and fifty. Dude, it's hard to do a forty one second uh like GR ten. Try to do a forty one second GR ten. The days of legit D3 never, I was going to say they're long gone, but a better way to say it is they never existed. T-HUD is a, pro, a third party program called Turbo HUD, which gives you a better HUD and gives you a ton of information about the game. Reveals the map, shows you where the pylons are, tells you where the mob type is, show you where, where all the density is. I think the fastest GR I ever did, I posted it on YouTube. We were trying to do a, the fastest GR we possibly could. I think my record is like 22 seconds. It is against TOS, but they're never going to ban you for it. So go ahead if you want to. I, I'm never going to use it, but they're never going to ban you for it. They don't care anymore. The... The development team has been pulled from D3. Diablo 3 is in autopilot mode now, so go ahead. I mean, I think I have a YouTube video of it. I don't know. Fastest GR Diablo 3. Hmm. Stop pulling up my video. I don't know. I'd have to search through all my videos. I don't know. It was real, real fast, like 20, 22 seconds or something. You can't decide if you want to mess around with D3 tomorrow or not. Oh, yeah. Come on. Fire it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Have you seen the new? Do you know about the new altar, King Congor? Do you know about the altar of rights? And do you know about the visions? Do you know what those are? There's a whole new way to play the game, if you if you weren't aware. I don't know how much you've been following it. I convinced you you're downloading it. Yep. All right, let, let's play. We've been standing around doing nothing for a long time. We've been doing absolutely nothing. 
let me show you guys the hard version. I'm going to be playing on hardcore here. The problem is, is I don't know the bounties like I used to. I used to know like the really hard ones and the really easy ones. This is very challenging, so most people are not going to do this, but I'll try it anyway, and I'm going to try to not die, but I'll probably die. All right. <sighs> All right, so we have to do, we have to do T1 bounties on a naked necro with nothing. So I don't think you actually don't even have enough gold to buy something. You can't even buy something from the vendor, right? You don't have 1500 gold. Yeah, King Congor, I was asking you, do you know what the altar of rights is and visions? Do you know what those are? sell the follower items you can't do that you have to salvage it to unlock the rope i guess i guess you could sell it i guess you could sell it if you don't care about the rope maybe what does this sell for it sells for two gold so that's not an option you barely touched reaper of souls oh man king congor there's a whole i just explained it if you go back in my stream a little bit i explained everything but just to give you a sneak peek here, there's a whole new way to play the game. If you go here, um, if you read this, the Altar of Rights, there's a whole new progression system on how it works, and it gives you, like, superpowers in the game. Then there's a whole other thing called Visions. Visions here. So... If I were you, I'd go. I'd, I'd read these two. It will it will help you a lot. That's the altar of rights guide. This is the visions guide. Can I get a step by step of your showering and bathing routine? Yeah, I mean that guide's simple. Never do either. That's a waste of time. You played last season for a week. Okay. Did you complete the altar and the visions? Two-man meta? Uh, necro with anything else? Okay, so you know what it is. Okay. All right, let's try the hard mode here. So let me review what I'm going to do here. But take the two things. I'm going to salvage them. I'm going to get the rope. Then I need to check for ZK or Magda. Do you kill ZK or Magda first? Do you kill them first? Because they're if you leave them, probably you kill them first, right? Because it's going to be way too hard if you don't. Okay. And then you use the follower weapon. You get gold and yellows. Then you do the hardest. You do the hardest things first. And then at eleven, you get the the uh, enchantress thing, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to try this. We're going on nine. Want to do that? Let's see, how, let's see if I can do this without dying. So I put this on, and I salvage these two. And that's just enough. Throw this away. I don't even have a shield. Okay, now we check. Okay, here we go. And you don't want to level up, right? You use the level up explosion to hit Magda. So I have to run past these monsters without dying at T1 on a naked Necro. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. What could go wrong? Weapon crate, excuse me? Can I move? All right, here we go. What could go wrong? Oh, wait. Are you supposed to get close to two? There, like that. 
level 18 for boss bounties or you don't get the gems right but you just reset to booty right you reset on level one after the bounties are done right you just reset it right so i need to stand next to magda we don't care about getting the unless i'm wrong we don't care about getting the gems out of the boss bounty right because we're just trying to aren't we just trying to yeah yeah yeah. we're, we're doing the hard version yeah hard version okay here we go stand next to magna boom okay okay now at least we have bone spear once again we're going to stand right next to her All right, this is getting very difficult. Oh my God, I did it. He's huge. Okay. So we open that and now we, oh, I made a mistake already. I fucked up already. Damn it. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to snapshot the bounties. I guess I can snapshot them at four. Okay. So let's click here. Let's click here. Let's click here. Let's click here. And now let's go to town. All right. Now I got the worst gear that has ever been found in the history of. Now you would have some money. So you buy this. And now you can go to Act 5. You would have a tiny bit of money from what we just did. These sell for nothing, so you would just salvage it. And then we go here. And we're just going to buy anything that we don't have. So we don't have a shield. And then anything really good here. Everything here blows. All right. Here we go, boys. Don't try this at home. Uh, act two. Uh, let's do anything. I don't know what the hardest thing is. Try this one. Protection shrine. I like that. Okay. More recovery. Okay. It's actually, I think, bad to level up here. So we don't want to level up here. So I'm trying not to kill stuff. Okay, I gotta kill these guys or they're gonna kill me. Oh, Goblin Excusey. Where did he go? This guy's gonna get me killed. This is gonna be the noob death, Rax chasing a goblin. This is, someone's gonna put this on YouTube. Rax chased a goblin and died because he's a dog shit noob. Come here, Mr. Goblin. I need your shit. Blow him up! Oh my fucking god, it was at 1 HP! Game's dog shit. Rax is a washed gamer. Okay, we, we don't want nothing to do with that elite. Nothing to do with them. So we're just going to walk. Okay, now we got to kill everything here. So that's not going to be good. Nice. I keep, okay, and I'm dead. Well, that was fun. Good good uh, run. Got the hardest elite ever to spawn. Maybe I can get a, a yellow in there. It increases my damage or something. And... Uh, Yep, 59% damage increase. Now I need a trash mob to spawn a corpse. <laughs> Fuck you guys! <laughs> oh, 
You see why you open the cash now? Another fucking elite? God. Blizzard, I hate you. What is wrong with you? Another goblin? My priorities have changed. We're going for the goblin. I mean, I literally can't kill him. There's no corpses. <sighs> Walk over here, please. All right. Well, I'm still alive. That's actually incredible. Okay, one more. Who knows where? Can I has a goblin? Still alive. Suck it. That chest might be very helpful, but I don't have any that they'll probably just kill me. So let's just walk. Again, don't really want to level up if I don't have to. I'm just going to stay on the edge. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's not get too crazy here. Nice and easy. I love how unfair corpse explosion is. It's just so great. Two hours. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. What? Man, I'm going to stay up for like three days. Coffee into a Red Bull. Damn. Let's get a couple of them for tomorrow and the next day because Lord knows I'll probably die. Might as well fuel the fire. Get him, boys. Man, I'm powerful. Level 10. Holy shit, I'm a god. Uh, I don't know. Let's try this one. Okay. There you go. I like that. I cannot I cannot acknowledge you. I'm about to die. But I acknowledge you, but I cannot acknowledge you.
Yeah, you got to it the thing to practice there is always have a corpse ready to explode. If if you can't like if you don't have a corpse there, you're dead. Yeah. 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 So it, it's good though. Practice, you get it. It's not One of the first things you should always do if you're losing in a video game is hit it and then yell at it. Those are the first two things to try. Then you can try other things, but those are always the first two things to do. Yeah. That's probably obvious, though. Okay, if I get to 11, then I can be way stronger. So it would be nice if I could be 11 one of these days. Okay, let's gather up a bunch of stuff. Let's see if we can get one kill here, and then corpse explode. Boom. 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 All right. All right. Oh my god, yes. Okay, now when you hit 11, there's very good news. Now, first of all, you can salvage all of this garbage. Start with that. And then the next thing that you do is you buy, or not buy, steal the Enchantress's weapon. Then I should probably change my... Uh, maybe... The health potion will actually save me. I'll keep that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Okay, back in we go. Now we should be all right, maybe. We have no defense, but our offense is absolutely there now. We have offense. We have no defense. All you got to do is complete these... You see an elite, you don't play any games. You need to get rid of them immediately. Okay. All right. Boink. 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 And then my skelly should... Well, they didn't do anything, so... I had to step away from the cage. Boom. Wow. One more. The best defense is a good offense. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. It's going to be tough. Okay. All right, here we go. Boom. All right. Okay, it's dangerous. Let's command the skellies on the yellow. Can die at any moment. Command them on the yellow. And dead. Give me that. It's a piece of shit. Why am I not surprised? Send the skellies up forward there. We need one kill. Boom. Easy. An Uh, is, I don't know if I can even beat this guy. Okay, never mind. I one-shot him with corpse explosion, like that. All right, forward we go. Boom. Blow him up. Blow him up. Nice. 
Kill Mage Lord Cactus. Fuck you, Cactus. Okay, we did it. Blow him up. Blow him up. Mm. DB, you got it, boys. Okay. Wow. Nice. Now I think we can turn it down to master. This is going to be a pretty damn good time. Go get the cube now. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, right? I was going to go. I was going to go to Temple of the Firstborn, but I think you're right. Yeah, I think you just you just get it over with, right? I think that's it's a little bit slower, but it's a better play. Now we have gold. Now we have a little bit of gold. You can't buy everything, but you could buy something. You can't buy everything, but you can buy something. So if you see anything really godly, like 20% toughness there, for example. Uh two of these and that is really good. Okay, now we're frying. Now, now it's Pound Town USA population monsters. So I take that and then like that, right? All right. Uh, like, no. Oh, yeah, like that. Cajun gifted a sub to King Congor. Thank you, my dude. What am I doing on D3? New season tomorrow. All right, here we go. Reclaim the ziggurat. This is on hard difficulty, so this should be an absolute joke. It should be. Okay. I don't care about anything. We need to get to 18 now, but we'll get to 18 in the next floor. Maybe. D3 underrated. Okay. That looks like a dead end. So let's try to decipher which is the right way. Could I think it could be down. If it is down, it's going to be a very fast floor too. And it looks like this is actually correct. So we want it to turn right into the exit. If that happens, then we played perfectly. Which is not a common thing on this channel. Usually we fuck everything up. All right. Yep. Perfect. Sometimes dreams do come true, boys. Already on floor two. I attacked that. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Okay, get them, boys. Blow them up. Okay. Ah, yes, it's going to be very hard to keep my mask with these stupid ass skeletons. Very difficult. Wish there was a monster anywhere on my screen. That would be nice. I actually don't think that I can use Corpse Explosion here because I will kill them too fast. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just press it. Whatever. 71% crushing. 93 brutal. Damn, you're making me feel so good, Diablo 3. I'm feeling like such a winner. Thank you for that. Let's 
Okay. If I leave these guys alive, then they will just keep spawning little gumbies. Okay. Okay, we can blow them up now, I think. Now, if we have a cursed chest here, it's going to be a pretty good situation. Where are all the monsters, man? Okay, I don't want to play any games. Please, monster, monster. <laughs> Spamming bone spikes in the open room. Somehow didn't hit a single monster. It doesn't matter, though, because we didn't have a cursed chest anyway. Stupid, though. I should have never lost my massacre. Wouldn't lose my massacre tomorrow because of the increased rope. All right, but we have this. Uh, let's walk over there. Okay. And now we do Temple of the Firstborn, and then we get our diamond, and we've done it. Now we go Temple of the Firstborn. Could leave and put it on Master. It might actually save you some time. Because you can definitely play on Master here. I really should turn off my minions. They're just making my life miserable. The minions are making my life miserable. Give me a monster! Fuck you, Diablo 3. God, this game is dog shit. God, this game is garbage. <sighs> He's back, boys. There he is. Game's dog shit. Okay, certainly this is enough, right? A 226 massacre is certainly enough here. But every time I think that, it never is. But it's got to be enough, for sure. Let's leave. Thank you for not letting me leave. I love that. Go ahead. Thank you. New game on normal. You want to know what, actually? That was a mistake, right? I should have... I made a mistake there. I should have stayed for the chest because I was 18. And then I could have got the diamond right there. I should have stayed. Oh well. What what would have been the fun in that? Yeah, I should have stayed. That was a mistake. For sure a mistake. Oh well. Do the gems have a lower chance to drop out of a bounty that isn't a boss bounty? Or do they drop equally in the regular bounties? Does anybody know? Take that. Leorix. What build am I planning to use for solo and group XP farming? I have no... I 
really have no idea. I'll probably just decide tomorrow, play anything. It doesn't matter. Um, for group play, I'll definitely play Z-Barb. Okay, on, wait, only, only the boss bounty drops the gems? Is that true? I don't know if I put the golem rune on. We're good, though. We're strong. Two diamonds. God damn it! How about zero diamonds? Knock slick. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Okay, well, let's put Enforcer and this on, okay. Nope. 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 New game. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Blizzard. How many years has it, has it been? How many years has it been and still... Still bugged. How many years, Blizzard? How many reports? Let's go back in, resume. Kill ZK, that's what we wanted. What's my opinion about monks? I love them, I think they're gods. There's definitely a part of me that wants to play monk. Two diamonds? Well. Uh. Kill Magda, here we go. Why diamonds? Because you need it to unlock the altar. What are my top three ARPGs right now? So you're asking me to play right now, as in, as on April 11th, and you're not, you want me to, you don't want me to like rank it for when they came out. I mean, my order would probably be Path of Exile 1, Last Epoch, number 2, and Diablo 2 Resurrected, number number 3. But if you, get, if you give me an all-time list, I would put Diablo 2 in first. And if you let me wait a week, No Rest for the Wicked might pass Diablo 4. And if you let me wait a month, Diablo 4 might pass Last Epoch. But if you want me to rank it today, PoE, Last Epoch, Diablo 2, probably. All right. Oh, look how many diamonds we got there. We got four diamonds in one run. Why the hell can't that ever be my first run? Uh, 
Uh, I think D2R might be better than Diablo 3. I don't know. All right, and time. Okay, well, I did it. And I did it without dying. That was pretty good, actually. I didn't die one time. That was pretty good. I forgot to upgrade the diamond at the jeweler. Oh, well. That was pretty damn good, actually. What are the best weapon slots for a Whirlwind Ren Barb? Well, all the Maxwell guides should be updated by now. They should already be updated. So we can just look and see if that's true. They should be done. Barb? Solo? What did you say you want to play? Rend? So Whirlwind is actually Rend, right? So if you're, I, you spend most of your time speed farming. So they wear Ambos and Ingeom, and I guess they just go with the regular setup. Has it been updated yet, though? Yeah, it has. I mean, already when you're cubing Furnace, Furnace is admitting that there really isn't anything great to take. Because Furnace is just some universal damage increase. So I guess you just go Mantle Furnace Band like normal. So this season does litter. Oh, wait, no, this is still Soul Shard. This is still Soul Shard. So this isn't right. I wonder... Can you... Cube Ingeom, Cube Ambos, and Wear Furnace? Could you do that? Why do that, though? Because now you're rending with a giant two-hander. Don't you want COE? Well, we got COE banned. Let's see here. Well, I guess you have F and R. Yeah, maybe go COE then. Barbarian is what? Barbarians divided by four? So COE maybe instead of mantle? Yeah, Diablo 3 is fun for a week until... Diablo 3 is fun for a week until... No rest for the wicked. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you guys a choice because a lot of people want to watch me play PoE Righteous Fire. I can either do, I have, I have to go in one hour and 45 minutes. So I have a little less than two hours. So for the next two hours, we can either do more D3 practice if you want to see it, or we can go play some PoE. PoE or more D3 practice. PoE, D3. Create the poll. Spam the poll. Here we go. There it is. Everybody vote if you care. Vote if you care. 
Okay, holy, well, holy shit. People really don't like PoE, huh? Bro said practice a game he has 5 million hours in. But remember something. That is the only way to get good at anything. If you have it in your mind that you can't practice something because you've spent a ton of time mastering it, then you will never master anything. I hate PoE, but play PoE. Interesting. Okay, so people, there are some people in my chat that have been waiting for PoE patiently. We played last Epoch and got our last 100, and I guess we're not going to play PoE today either. So the next time that this comes up, we're not going to do a poll and we're just going to do POE for the people that like POE because they currently hate me right now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play Diablo 3 for at least a few days, maybe through the weekend. And then No Rest for the Wicked is on the 18th. I don't know if we'll play Diablo 3 all the way there. Maybe, but maybe not. I don't know. And if we end early, then we will go POE. And then No Rest for the Wicked comes out. I think Torchlight Infinite has a new season as well. And then after that, while we're waiting for Diablo 4 Season 4, we will also go back to PoE then. Yep. Is that on Steam, the new game? Yes. By the way, I'm going to have a code for you to buy the game cheaper. Let me see if I got it yet. What happened? Hold on. Let me see. I might have the code for you. Okay. I think I have it. Do I? Okay. I have it. I think I have the link for you. Okay, is anybody in chat wanting to buy No Rest for the Wicked? Anybody want to buy it? I have a better link for you. It releases April 28th. And I believe, let me see, I want to tell you what I think this does. It gives you, it, it gives you, you want to buy with this link. I think it's the cheapest way you can buy it. Let me read what it says. Um, if a viewer purchases the game through your link, they will pay $32 instead of $40. Okay, so you get $8 off. Here you go. No, so no rest for the wicked. It's an ARPG. It releases April 18th. It looks very good. I played the early access on stream on Steam or Stream Steam whatever. It's very good. I'm spamming the link. Can somebody click that if you're planning to buy the game and tell me is it 32 instead of 40? It's $8 off. So you save 20%. Says error. Great. Great. <coughs> Jesus. It's not live yet. Okay, hold on. Yes, something went wrong. A glitch in the matrix. I see that. Ugh. The sinuses are killing me. Okay, let me see if I can figure out why this happened. Uh, 
This code only works until May 2nd. Uh, okay. I am just going to let them know. Okay, let me just tell them. I got the link for people, but it says... Uh, oops, it says, what does it say? It says, oops, something went wrong, error. Okay, it says, oops, something went wrong, error 404, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll ask him, is it because it's not for sale yet? They'll get back to me. I'll, I'll get you a link that works. I'll get you one. Okay, um, you guys voted for D3. So, okay, what do you guys want to see? If you guys want me to practice, what do you guys want me to practice? What do you want to see? I could do the hard mode with Necro again. I could do the easy mode with Witch Doctor or Necro again that you guys will probably do. You want me to do Witch Doctor again? I already did that. Do Necro with cash use again? DH, DH, DH. But, but you guys don't want to play DH, though. If you want to play DH, you go Necro. You don't want to play DH 1 to 18. Yeah, I, think, I think there's a little bit of confusion here. You never go DH 1 to 18. You make a DH after you're 18. All right, let me give you the choices because there's some confusion. Which one? We can do Necro open the cache. This is what almost all of you should do. This is what you should do tomorrow. You can do Necro don't open the cache. That's what I just did. Or you can do Witch Doctor open the cache. Those are really the choices. Right, but guys, if you go Demon Hunter, if you want to play Demon Hunter, you should make a Necro or a Witch Doctor first. It will save you time. After you do this, you can make any character that you want. So if you want to play Demon Hunter, you start Necro. It will level your Demon Hunter faster. I just hate saving time. If you want me, okay, you guys want to see it anyway. You shouldn't do this, but if you want to see it, I'll do it. But this is not what you should do. This is wrong. This just wastes all of your time. But I'll let, I'll let you have it as a choice. But you should not do that. Okay, the poll is in the chat. Go ahead and vote for whatever you'd like to see. Okay, we're about to practice something that no one should do. Okay. All right. Let's practice something that's completely worthless. Hmm. 
Ну-ка. Oh, the necro one is creeping back up. I need to go grab a Kleenex real quick. Be right back. Demon Hunter, I have to do the, uh, I have to do the, oh, Necro one? Oh, wow. Demon Hunter would have required me to use a completely different strategy. All right, well. Okay. Vote got rigged. My best time is 16 minutes. But we could easily do it in 12 if we would stop getting unlucky. All right, here we go. Yeah, all right. Um, so, okay. Let's try to beat 16 minutes here. All right. We are going on nine. What are you? No, oh, already wasted time. Rip. 7.8 is good. Runs over. Already lost a second. I'm actually going to do something. Oops. I'm actually going to do something a tiny bit different here. What is it? Is it an axe? Huge time loss there. Already cheating? Nope, this is open the cash. Didn't cheat at all. Reusable pants, as Sarah calls it. Oh, man, that would have been incredible for my demon hunter. That's a super godly early game bow. Possible we went the right way. Uh, Yeah.
I'm in huge trouble here. Okay. Huh. No blueberries. No blueberries, no cursed chest, huh? That's unlucky. It's fine. We're going to do a weird combination of things here. We're going to do something weird. I don't want any skeletons. Oh, uh, we've dropped it. Terrible. Hmm. I need to be 11 is the problem. I don't, I can't be 10. I need to be 11. Okay, this is very good. Very good. All right. Now we need a godly massacre to eight to eighteen quickly. We're just gonna run for a curse chest. What? How did my massacre drop? He's a bullshit.
Let's pray this is good enough. Godly. Incredible time. Incredible. Unneo Gunzi. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Okay, double diamond here, world record one time. Forgot to do the golem thing. Uh, that was a huge mistake. Forgot to do the golem thing. Massive mistake. Going to take very long to kill this guy now. Upsetting. Should have. Maybe I have a yellow weapon too. Where is ZK at? I think we only got one diamond there. Made a big mistake there. Got your promotion offer letter today. We'll celebrate tomorrow by blasting Diablo 3's new season and watching me. Congratulations, man. Got a promotion at your job? Hell yeah. Okay, so that's good. I made a big mistake there. I lost some time because I'm bad. It's okay, I'm new, I'll get better over time. Yeah, I mean, maybe if I put 13,000 hours into the game, I can stop making mistakes. Oh, wait. Okay. Big, big PB here. Big PB. Wow. Sometimes dreams do come true, guys. Sometimes dreams do come true. Look at this PB. Wow. Fourteen forty one is a palindrome, yes. At, I'm level fourteen, or excuse me, I'm 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 actually like level 20. Level 20. I have the cube and I have the altar unlocked in 14 minutes. Oh, you want to know what? I just realized something. We could try the challenge rift. Like you can't complete it today. Yo, what is it? Oh, it's a it's a monk. That's a Kyoshiru. Is this wave of light monk? Yo, what the fuck is this? Incense torch of the Grand Temple. Okay. Primal Yun Jang Do. Oh my God. At least it's L O D. Yo, what? What is this? Yo, it's not even the fire one. Shattering light? Oh my, what the fuck is this?
Feels good seeing me in D3. Thanks for saying that, man. I haven't played this game in a long time, but I I played this game so much. Like you play it for five minutes and it's like, oh, okay. Like I'm I feel pretty warmed up actually. Spent so many years of my life playing this, man. All right, well, let's try it. Sands, huh? Okay. That's fine. Is it fine, though? Is it fine, though, is the real question. Oh, here we go. That's nice. Keeps. A turkey. Another keeps? Are you fisting me, Blizzard? So this is wrong. We got to go up. Okay. I'll always stop the timer, I think, right on this blue pack. I don't even know how I'm going to survive here. Okay, plus 132 on the blue pack. Let's try again. No, that's, just, that's one way to do it. That's fine. Okay, plus 132, huh? All right. Got to remember something. All right. All right, here we go. Wait, is there an elite there? Can go either there are there two elites here oh my god all right i'm gonna let them kill me go ahead and kill me okay okay
That room's probably worth, right? If I remember correctly, this way is a dead end, or yeah, this is a dead end, right? Okay, 213, 213 ahead, crazy. Okay. Wow. Wow. Cut 40 seconds off of my first time, and I even purposely ran the wrong way because I'm stupid. I said right is a dead end, and I ran right anyway. Imagine being that dumb. Can you imagine being that dumb? Right is wrong, right? And I run right anyway. Imagine. What skills am I using? This is just the stupid challenge rift. This is just nonsense put together by somebody. It's not the worst build ever, but this is definitely not right. Try the EU challenge rift. That's a good idea. Yeah. Let's go EU. Let's see what that happens. Yes. <laughs> He is my neighbor, no so tanto yakbai. He is pain in my assholes. I get the window from my glass, he must get the window from my glass. I get the step, he must have a step. I get the clock radio. <laughs> he cannot afford it. He's nice. <laughs> Why is he talking like this? Somebody has never seen Borat. All right. Legacy of Nightmares. N Legacy of Nightmares Tempest Rush. Okay. This should be fine here. All right, let's go. Kapow. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. That's exactly what we wanted. I'm just going to go peek over here. We're just peeking. Okay. So that's compl where I went was perfect. Okay. We're going to be able to do this next one a million times faster. All right, we got to check one more thing, though. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's start over. There's really nothing, so there's just one path here. 
There's no ambiguity on this one. Kill Spider-Man over there. Kill these guys. And then you just leave as fast as you can. Don't even really need the power pylon. You could probably skip the power pylon. Oh god, plague tunnels. We did not want this map. This is a map that's impossible to read. You just guess everywhere. This is just pure guessing. So there's an elite on the left side of the first donut. The donut goes both ways. Nothing down so far. One yellow at the bottom. Okay. Let's see here. So if the exit is left, it would definitely be better to go left and pop down and one shot the yellow. So is the exit over here? No. Okay, so maybe we go left, pop the yellow, go up, pop the blue, and let's see what the rest of the layout looks like. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now let's check one last thing. The only other thing to check is, is there an easily accessible elite right here? If there isn't, then the path is, again, pretty much defined. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to be able to annihilate this challenge rift. I think there's only one path here. There's only one path that makes any sense. All right, here we go. There's only one path here that makes any sense. Oh, feared me off of the elite. Love that. So glad I don't race in this anymore. Lose to dumb shit like that all the time. One fear and you lose. One fear and it's over. So it's on the other side of the lip and then straight and then down and to the right for the yellow. What? What? What is happening? Why is my guy not attacking? Blizzard! What is wrong with you? There's a yellow right here. Maybe actually, actually, maybe the best thing is to skip this yellow. Maybe you just skip the yellow entirely. That might, if next map is good, actually, it'd probably be even better to skip the yellow because he's so off sides. That guy is nowhere near where you want to actually be. So the exit is here. I'm plus 140 here. Uh, well, better than last map. Oh, a very good mob type. I think I, I think you skip the yellow probably. Probably skip him. Let me see. Okay, there's a dip down there. Let's go check. Nothing. Okay, so you skip that for sure. I think you skip the yellow. There's going to be like three or four elites on top of each other over here. Probably two or three. Yeah, here they are. I knew it. And then we'll stop there, but let's see what my progress is. Okay, 225 at those elites. I think we can do a lot, be a lot better. A lot better than plus 225. I missed a yellow where? I missed which yellow? A yellow by a yellow by the pylon in the winter map. Okay. Winter okay, thank you. Okay, so you definitely skip the yellow on the plague tunnels. 
You definitely skip the yellow on the plague tunnels. It is way too out of bounds. All right, so we're 225 on those elites. Let's try to beat that. Let's see if we can get it closer to plus three. Can't jump right now. Can I have the pylon? Oh, wait, I have infinite dashes? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I have a channeling pylon. What's wrong with me? Yo. And I'm there's a blue back here. Okay. What is wrong with me? I have a channeling pylon. Oh, yeah, here, yeah, okay. Yeah. What were we at? We were at... We were at 220-something. Okay, 229. That's almost the same time, actually. 229. That actually wasn't that much better. Okay. I'm going to try something here. Terrible placement of the blues. Oh, I don't have a dash. I don't have a dash. So that's devastating. These fatties are actually worth a lot. Maybe you kill them. Maybe you don't. I'm guessing these molten explosions are going to kill me. You need... Okay, so I need to have a second charge of dash by the time I get to the first thing. So I need two dashes of it. There we go, it's much better. Okay, we're just full sending it here. Full send, don't care. Huh. Play like a god and I still... Play like a god and still ended up at the same time. That's crazy. 
I guess killing all those monsters along the way really help? It's about the same time. Could kill the yellow at the bottom of the second floor. I thought about that. I'm not sure if that's the play, but I could. Let's try that as our last try with the dashes. I'm not sure that will be better. Yeah, this challenge rift is going to be tough to beat on time. Yeah, it's a real nail biter. Nice. Already lost. You're going for a rank one time, you already lost. Simple as that. You, the, the spider fears you, over. Simple as that. Lost. Just kill me. Thank you. Aren't challenge rifts so fun? The RNG, the RNG of the spider fearing you. So you need two dashes. I don't understand. How in the fuck is it possible that I'm dying to white mobs? How is this even fucking possible? The fuck is happening? I don't even understand. What the, what is going on? How did I die? I have two pylons. Just keep going even though the monster feared me. If I would have hit one of those unburieds, that would have really helped. So I, d I have much better movement there, actually. It was more than just killing the yellow elite down there. As I was porting, I in between the dashes, I let my guy TR a little bit to kill a lot of the trash. So actually, we got both. We got the yellows and we got the trash. So this is, this is insane. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I don't have any spirit, but going anyway. Full send. 251, incredible. You got to use that tech. In between the dashes, you have to TR to one-shot the room for a moment. The value of that on the red fallen is huge. So that's like 30 seconds saved. So that's going to be very strong. That's pretty cool, actually. So I think you can be plus three at that moment. TR, Tempest Rush, Tempest Rush. Okay, that, that felt good.
Please do Asia. It's so hard. I've tried it 20 times and I can't beat it. All right, last one, last one. I usually don't do the Asia one, but just this one time, why not? What do I think about the plus 100 damage in the altar? Well, they had to nerf it, right? But 100 flat damage, that's nothing to sneeze at. It's nothing to sneeze at. Asia is super bad. Okay. All right. Everyone's saying this one's really bad. All right. Let's see how bad it is. So it's. God, I. What does he have on? Sunwuku, Sunwuku Wave of Light. Okay. This one doesn't look like it would be hard, but maybe it is. This one doesn't look hard at first glance. Uh... But maybe it is. Okay, let's try it. Uh, I'm going to change this. Festering Woods? You Are you guys trolling me? All right. This guy doesn't do jack shit for damage. I see what I see the problem. Festering Woods with a Condi. Okay, this is actually very difficult. Holy shit, this is difficult. Okay. It's because he's missing the six-piece bonus, right? With the six-piece bonus gone, you just don't do jack shit. He has a, actually a good build. He just doesn't have six-piece Sun Wuku, so you do nothing. So I guess you just kite this forward, see if we can get a pylon over here. The defense here is non-existent. All right. I'm in trouble here, actually. It's blind here. Okay. This is very difficult. Very difficult. Wow, Rip Asia. All right. Okay, Rip Asia. 40 seconds ahead. If you're only 40 seconds ahead on a Festering Woods, you know you got a shitty challenge rift. Holy sweet mother of God. All right. I don't even know. This guy beat this? That's actually incredible. Okay. Where's my other pylon is my question. Did this guy skip the festering? It's almost impossible not to spawn a second pylon on a... It's almost impossible not to spawn a second pylon on a festering. Where's my second pylon? Is it going to be at the beginning of next floor or what? I guess you don't have enough damage to kill the elites, so you skip this yellow or something? This is not good either. Okay, that's going to help a bit, I guess. This is a bad mob type. This is a bad map, bad mob type. Do you just get out of here and go next, or...? What's the play now? Okay, how do you beat this? Okay, this is very bad. Hmm. All right. Okay. 
<clears throat> How do you beat this? This is interesting. Okay, let's bring him forward. Let's leave the Condi where it is. Let's bring this Elite. Bring him. Have a very hard time believing that this guy beat this challenge rift in one try as they're trying to tell me, but maybe this guy's a god gamer. Need that snake to come over here. Wait, I jumped too far. No! Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I had all the elites down here. Fuck, dude. This is very, very difficult. They got they must have fucked something up copying it over because I, I don't believe for one second. I don't believe for oh, did they take out the soul shard or something that he had? There ain't no way that somebody beat this in one try. I'm not buying that for one second. Let's just leave the ye the yellow in the corner. It takes too long to bring him. Okay, this guy just wasted my time last time, so I'm not going to make the same mistake again. I'm going to try to live off of the trash here. It's not pretty, but it's honest work. I think you have to skip this, maybe. Maybe I can kill a blue if I find one. Dude, what the fuck is this build, man? I don't know where I don't know where to go. This map is not solvable. 
I'm going to need some massive, massive help up here. I'm going to need, like, a really good map. Okay, this is the best map in the game. This is... A very, very dangerous mob type. Uh, okay. How am I going to do this again? You gotta use the channeling pylon to get to this map, 100%. Only chance to beat this. Where the fuck is the pylon, man? There's gotta be a pylon here. Pylon, pylon. Can I buy a vowel? A P. I just can't find where it is. You gotta walk straight to it. A thousand elites over here. If you can kill those three elites, you can spawn the boss. The Salius, oh my god. Kill me now. Power pylon for the boss or something? Dude, there's no there's no pylon on this. Okay. I can beat this. I can do it, but 99.9% um, .9 of people ain't never going to beat this. I can beat it, though. I'll beat it. Ha ha ha, fucking US noob. Jay, I want you to remember something. Jay, I want you to remember something. I'm better than you at everything. Just remember that. Something that you have been practicing your entire life, I could probably try it twice and be better than you. Remember that. I know, I'm also kidding. You're kidding. I'm kidding as well. Kind of. Not really. Nah, you're right, Rex. <laughs> nah, I'm not good at everything. All right, here we go. Asia has Rex unhinged. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how difficult this challenge drift is. It's actually fucking crazy. <laughs> No, I'm not tilted. It's okay. I can't believe how hard this challenge drift is. It's not even like the build is so bad. It's just, it's bad enough, and the timing is so precise. No, I know. I'm, I'm messing with you, Jay. I'm just messing with you. I'm actually in good. I actually love this. I can't believe how hard this is. Guess what's harder than this? Raising a kid. <laughs> I 
he cannot go outside is nice. All right. <laughs> Has anybody even beat this? Oh, is this is this this is this this round or is this last week's? They're saying somebody beat this in two minutes. I don't even think this is possible, is it? I don't. I don't think that's even possible unless th this seems like one of those scenarios where. They didn't copy something over correctly. Like, they didn't give you the Ring of Royal Grandeur, or they didn't give you the Soul Shard that they had, or something. If you have the Ring of Royal Grandeur, sure, you clear it in two minutes instantly. Just run, just run in a group and blame everybody else. We don't have the Legendary Gem. Which one? We can't use LOD. Yeah, we can't use LOD. I think maybe this is supposed to be a Ring of Royal Grandeur, or one of these two is supposed to be a Ring of Royal Grandeur, and they just didn't give it to us. That would be my guess. The... The Ring of Royal Grandeur didn't copy over correctly. Check the leaderboard tab. Uh, how, shift L. I, I, or, does this work? I don't think we can. I don't think you can see what they're doing. But I don't understand, though. I don't understand how this would even be... I don't think this time is even close to possible. I don't think this is even cl close to possible. Just to clear the festering and skip the second map takes two minutes. Yeah, even a three-minute time is insane. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I could possibly be missing. I don't have any idea. Well, the blind, the blind just gives you more spirit, which is good. You have infinite sweeping wind. The problem is, is you lose your entire multiplier. You don't have the multiplier at all. Um, I have no idea. Anyway, let's try to beat it at least. Here we go. All right. I'm going to try a little bit more of a simple approach on the first floor. Let me check something real quick. Is there another elite over here? There isn't. Okay. Okay. Bring those guys over here. I just want to bring the yellow this way. The yellow is running. Let's call that good. Come over here.
Okay. Mm, all I did was lose a bunch of time by doing that, actually. I was doing way better the previous time. Uh. Okay. Looks like the trash on the festering is actually pretty worth. Okay, we're going to use this to just skip this entire floor. God damn it, man. The Asian ping is killing me. Okay, and then we're just going to calmly delete this entire floor and see how this goes. Love it when wallers erase all of my damage. I love that. Okay. All right. So I guess you just walk everything all the time. Just got to keep backing away. Difficult. Difficult. Holy God, Vesalius. I actually don't even know if I can kill this guy in time. Uh, tough. Not easy. So there is something. Oh, it's just Bane of the Stricken. Okay.
What's better, D3 or D4? Right this very moment, Diablo 3. Diablo 4 will be better one day. So we're missing, we're missing the, uh, the Wan Kim Lao, or no, not Wan Kim Lao. We're missing, what are we missing? What's the weapon that we're missing? We have incense Kyoshiru's. What's the offhand supposed to be? Forgot. Yeah, we have the no six piece bonus. I don't think you're supposed to use. Well, maybe for Sun Wuku, use Vengeful Wind. But for the other ones, you don't. Rabid Strike. Thank you. That's what we're missing. Rabid Strike. Yes. You know what your wife's going to make you play this weekend? It's Diablo 3 time, man. That is an extremely difficult challenge rift. I wonder if on, on the fourth floor, if there's like a power pylon or something. Fist of something? Oh, you mean fist up my ass? Fist up my ass is, I thought that was Tempest Rush. Fist up my ass? Or this is for uh, f fist up my ass is for uh, the exploding palm, Juliana. I don't make the names, guys. Blizzard made a an item called fist up my ass. I have no idea why. Yeah, fist up your ass and then it explodes. You keep trying to sort in D3. Dude, I did that in PoE. I kept trying to sort my inventory. Sort, sort, sort. And it never did anything. <laughs> Blizzard is like, oh no, not more racks feedback. I'd rather shove a fist up my ass. All right, well, so here's what's going to happen, guys. Tomorrow, the Diablo 3 season starts. We have EU and NA. I have no idea what I'm going to play, man. No clue. I don't know. 
I, I'll probably do something different. Do something on EU, something on N, something different on NA. Uh, we'll do both starts like we usually do. Then on Saturday, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go softcore. And there's a group of girls forming, Sarah, Seattle, and Amy. And they asked me if I would Z-barb with them. So they're going to spend one day powering up. And then I'm going to re-roll and join them, and I will Z-barb for them. Go DH on EU. I might just let you guys choose, because I absolutely don't care. And then I'll have a Z-barb on NA if anybody needs a Z-barb. I would love to just Z-barb all day long and just do 150s. Which doctor it is? Then I think on Saturday, there's an announcement in the middle of the afternoon or whatever about Torchlight Infinite. Probably watch that. See what see what Torchlight is doing. There's also that. Two weeks is Titan Quest. Like the second one or the first one. Hydrixis, what's up, buddy? We're going to play the first one? Okay, I'll play. I will check out Grim Dawn. We're going to play. We're going to play, for sure. I will do a full playthrough of Grim Dawn. That's 100%. All right, uh, I'm going to hang it up here, guys. Uh, have a little fun thing planned today. Got to go to that. Let us raid somebody. Is anybody playing D3? Who's playing D3? LeBron James is there. There, I'm not even joking you. There are seven streamers in the world playing Diablo 3 right now. Couldn't make this shit up if I tried. Three, six, seven. There's seven people streaming this game. Seven. <laughs> Dude, Macro's playing Heroes of Might and Magic. This is one of my favorite games ever. This is one of the best games ever. You want to know what, though? Let's raid McFluffin. I, I, I owe him a lot of raids. Let's raid McFluffin. I owe him a lot. I love Heroes of Might and Magic 3. But let's go McFluffin. I owe him a lot of raids. Let's, let's start to pay him back here. I owe Tony a lot of raids, too. Dude, Tony just raided me. Tony, you can't raid me every day, man. If you raid me every day, I can never pay you back. No, thank you, my dude. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. Tomorrow, Diablo 3. Holy shit. Can you believe it? It'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. I might let you guys pick. I might might be a game time decision. I really don't care what I play. I can play anything. It doesn't matter. Have a great night, guys. See you tomorrow. Forge Knight build in D3. God, somehow Kirk's ideas keep getting worse. Who would have thought that's possible? Have a good night, guys.